Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about Synaptic Panel as part of Visuals with Nax series. So what it is, when to use it. Let's try to check it out. Imagine if you are using a visual like this, uh, because most of the um, uh, analytics requests uh, information to be shown in a table or conventional graph chart, right? But if you can able to uh, demonstrate the same information in a graphical image, right? So that is what synaptic panel is going to do. So let's try to check it out in this video, how uh, it is to be configured and what are all the other features that you can utilize. Let's begin. So as I said before, it's a powerful visual for Power BI that transforms any SVG image into a dynamic data visualization. So that image, whatever you have seen previously that should be a SVG image so it can have interactive data visualization on custom images like these are some examples like flow plans diagrams or maps custom maps heat maps whatever uh, that image gives you you need to uh, can able to analyze with the data and it also supports the multi-level hierarchical future and custom labels, data bindings, and color-based rules. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI, and fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content, share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Let's begin our today's topic. So where are we now? So this is the one I've created. Um, so I'm going to replicate this step-by-step step let's try to understand what we have got so this is just a uh, patient data uh, assume this is the bill number for that uh, particular date and what are the parts they did for the operation and these are the locations so as simple as that now we have this data what synaptic panel uh, how we can able to achieve uh, this result everyone knows about how to create uh, this left hand side part you uh, drag and drop the table and you will create uh, these filters and all but how you will create this let's try to do one by one for that you need to have this custom visual the synaptic panel by okviz you can um, go to uh, okviz.com um, or from if you are already logged in you can use the custom visuals from here as well once you have imported here you will get your custom visuals now first things first let's click on the custom visual here so we have the custom visual and we have our patient data so first of all in order to enable this um, um, synaptic panel you need to add at least one column to be dragged so for me uh, the paths is the very important point so let me drag and drop so then it will have its data over here then you have a uh, uh, then only you can have an option to see uh, this add map option so what is this map so let's go and check it out uh, in their website like you have a lot of uh, maps here right so um, now you can able to download any one of the maps they have a lot of maps over here so you can able to download whatever you got otherwise what you can able to do is you have you can able to customize your own map so you need to have your image and you can able to customize this using this synaptic panel designer so for time being let's go and check it out their gallery over here so basically you need to go to synaptic.design and if you want to practice for this exercise you can use any one of these maps so i use this map so when you click on this then you can have a edit in designer so that is what it will appear here then you can export to power bi so then if you want to have any other uh, addition of uh, any parts you can add it and name it those things you can do for time uh, for this demo i'm not going to do any customization if you need uh, more information about this how to customize how to create on your own please comment below so that i can create a, another video now you can uh, download this image so click on this it will prompt you for sorry uh, it says right click so right click and 
uh, save images okay now you can download it as SVG image now already I downloaded it here uh, like human body let me put human body underscore 2 so this is your prerequisite so I have my columns added synaptic panel added what is this map whatever we have just now downloaded go to local map and then click on human body 2 that is SVG image now it will have your uh, map ready right you have added your map or if you have downloaded any other map you can add it from here this screen as well now next step is you need to bind your data with your image right that is what next step is so here is the thing you click on each uh, line item here that is each part and then you can do the data point data point will be that is whatever columns you have dragged and drop the data will start appearing from that so it is best practice you have a same um, part name whatever defined in this panel if you see in this panel you have defined each and every panel if you click on this if you see this is the lungs and if you click on this this is the kidney right left kidney right kidney like this so they have defined the names so in the data also you need to have the similar names what happens if you have a different name you need to come here and map here so let's say intestine is here intestine this is why i had this case now let me show you it has auto binding intestine is there but in your data you have intestine right the spelling is different now what happens for this particular case let's try to check it out for all other case it is same like when you have a brain auto bind means you uh, brain is brain i mean same uh, spelling it matches so this is the first step we need to do once you do this one um, then click on save and close okay what happened yes now you have matched your data with your image whatever you have imported so it has the same colors now you can see uh, um, the colors are matched but you didn't put any value for that either you create a measure for time being i will put the same column here with the count so it will give me now number of counts so to change the intensity of this um, uh, map like it it works like a heat map you can do go and uh, to the formatting option okay so where it is area the custom color you can see you can go with this rules um, that is count of bill number and then gradient you go with gradient and count of bill number and you can choose red and here it should be dark red uh, okay it's something else it's okay now you can easily able to end fit so this is the right kidney is the most affected organ uh, in this example and followed by left kidney and then you have the heart so this is how you can able to easily uh, map uh, two information one is from the image that you need to have a svg image and you in your data you need to have your tabular format as well that is as simple as that now let me tell you here as i told before the intestine is not mapped that's why it is grayed out or it is in black color now to update it go back and then uh, click on edit here intestine it should not be auto binding because since uh, auto binding will expect the same name now i put uh, intestine the whatever incorrect spelling i'm mapping it here then save and close now you can see this also started having a value over here so now you understand how easy it is so based on this in Kuwait um, the most affected organ is kidney and in Qatar it is the same and even in UAE it is the same so imagine this is for the um, uh, hospital branch they are running across the countries they want to uh, hire um, some experts or specialized doctors 
now which organ specialist they need to focus on it is easily predictable from this um, i mean easily uh, analyzed right so this is the whole purpose of this uh, dashboard like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and let me know if you have implemented any of this uh, customized visuals in your case and if you're new to this channel please do subscribe it so that you will not miss out any of my new contents